I fought to locate the missing submarine boats that was exploring the remains of the Titanic have reached a critical phase as uncertainty surrounds its exact whereabouts and the well-being of the five crew members on board. Despite the US Coast Guard's earlier estimates that the vessel's oxygen supply would last only 96 hours after its departure, Rear Admiral John Malga reassured the public on Thursday that the search and rescue operation would persist without faltering. The submersible known as Titan initiated its descent into the depths at 8 a.m. on Sunday with plans to resurface approximately seven hours later, as indicated by the U.S. Coast Guard. However, communication with the 21-foot tourist craft was abruptly lost within two hours of its journey to witness the Titanic's resting place resting over two miles beneath the surface of the North Atlantic. Concerns about the safety and regulatory standards of Oceanic Gates Inc., the company responsible for operating the vessel, were brought to light by former employees as early as 2018, according to court documents. In fact, Ocean Gate had previously made an unsuccessful attempt to reach the Titanic in 2022, which despite being retrospectively labeled as a success, came dangerously close to a tragic outcome. Among those on board the Titan are British billionaire Hamish Hardin, Pakistani tycoon Shazada Dawood, and his son Suleiman, all of whom hold British citizenship. Additionally, the company CEO Stockton Rush and French submarine operator Paul Henry Naglet, nicknamed Mr. Titanic for his extensive dives at the site, are also part of the crew.